So I found an old unfinished um, sketchbook of mine uh, where I've got a lot of like swatches of my watercolours because I used to actually use watercolour a lot more in my art and I haven't really been using it that much. Um, and I also used to do kind of warm up doodles in this book before I started like a bigger painting. Uh, so I've got like my old D&D character and I used to, because I'm obsessed with Pokemon and anime, I kind of paired the two together. So you've got Shoto from My Hero Academia with the two different Alolan Vulpix and the normal Vulpix. So I tried to make it so whatever anime character I was drawing it is what you would imagine if they had a Pokemon, what it would be. Um, so obviously you've got a razor head with Darkrai. Uh, Tamaki from Utano Prince Sama with Dino and uh, oh my god I'm trying to remember the names now Sukiyomi with Murkrow and Kirito <laughs> with oh what's, I'm trying to remember the names honestly it's been a while since I've seen the sketchbook yeah, I actually had a like Sword Art Online phase where me and my partner were watching it and I was drawing all the characters and I was really into Pokemon, really into Sword Art Online. So you can see I've done quite a few of the characters from here. Um, but it was just a quite a fun thing to kind of doodle and like just get some watercolour down before kind of starting any other new projects. And I wouldn't mind bringing this back. Uh, but that, which is why I... Uh, in a minute you'll see what I will be up to um, but I actually have a I kind of stopped after this and I made Grey from Fairy Tale. but I never actually added the Pokemon next to him so I thought why not add the Pokemon on and obviously the rest of the pages are all blank and I could continue and finish the sketchbook so I have my trusty deluxe essential handbook it isn't the updated one uh, but I always find it this book is really useful when I'm wanting to pick Pokemon to pair with characters. Uh, so obviously Grey is kind of very ice like related so at first I thought uh, Gally would work really well. Uh, but then I realised I just really wanted to draw Glaceon. Um, and yeah so I'm just going to do some sketching and hopefully you'll watch it. I did notice uh looking back at this recording that when for some reason the first part it starts to get quite dark and i believe it was just the settings on my phone when i was filming this but other than that um i managed to get, get pretty good um footage but hopefully you enjoy and i'll leave you to watch my process So I also realised that I didn't actually set a certain focus point on my camera setting. So you will see the focus going in and out and I apologise, I didn't really want to scrap this bit of the video because I had fun and really enjoyed creating this um, Glaceon drawing. I did think that the face I wasn't feeling at the time but after I gave the final touches to it, it grew on me and it's just kind of a doodling art it's not meant to be amazing um and hopefully it will get me back into some more watercolor artwork because i it has been a while since i've cracked open my little watercolor palette 
uh, which is a, it's a Winsor & Newton palette, but I have replaced a lot of the colours in it with Daniel Smith watercolours. I can't actually remember the particular names of all of them, uh, but yeah, so it's it's a handy little watercolour tray and I do have a bigger set, but this one's pretty much got all the basics in that I need. So I'm back at it again with playing around with the new kind of skill that I've learned to use Cricut Maker for and with the vinyl stickers that you saw if you'd watched my last studio vlog on my kind of experimentation slash kind of tutorial not tutorial um, on putting vinyl um, onto glasses. Uh, so I've found one of my mum's old I think it's actually like a, I think it had a sauce in it at some point, but it was just an old jar that she kept to put her paintbrushes in. And I found this pattern on the Cricut software and I thought, why not have a go at using a different coloured vinyl, uh, which was this beautiful fox design, and put it on and kind of spruce up my mum's um, brush jar. And it just kind of opens up so many more so much more should I say po possibilities because I can just keep any jars like of any sauces or anything that comes in and I can reuse them and make them look pretty again. So you might see but this was probably the first one of the ones I had a bit of a struggle with because of the curved surface. Um, so it did end in with kind of a few kind of pleats or pinched parts of vinyl which I mean I'm I don't really mind about them some people might but um with the curved surface normally it's recommended for you to cut the transfer um sticky back plastic that you use where the curve is so that you can kind of tailor it around so the actual vinyl piece can mold onto it which I didn't do in this uh, it was just a quick one but I'm really happy there was a few air bubbles but again it was just a jar that I found left around that I just wanted to have a play with so I'm really happy with how it ended up It's raining again.
uh, just packing an order late at night uh, before I can drop it off on my way to work. Um, and I have noticed that a lot of my international deliveries have been taking a lot longer to get to people. Uh, and that can just be due to the current pandemic going on. And I guess there is lots of other things going on in the world that could be delaying it. Uh, but so far, I think to the US I've had a few orders and it's taken about two weeks or it could take even longer than that. Um, but hopefully shipping will become a bit more quicker for outside the UK. Uh, but I just enjoy sending stuff to everyone and packaging it and making it look pretty. Uh, I will soon have to do a new restock of these toilet bound Hanako kun sticker sheets on my Cricut Maker. Uh, they have been selling quite quickly, which is a really great thing in my shop. Uh, I'm also thinking about doing a few more uh, additions in the toilet bound. So I made the little freebie moke sticker to um, be with any of the purchases of the sticker packs. Um, and I thought possibly a new sticker sheet with some other designs from different characters in the series would be really good to do and maybe branch out on a few other different anime related ones. Uh, I do still want to keep some of my own original designs uh, similar to like the rainbow worms, the sharks, goose, maybe a goose sticker pack maybe um, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll get more, a bit more time in the next coming weeks to work on some shop things. Uh, I have been quite busy at work but hopefully soon So I actually decided to utilize my rainbow goose uh, sticker design and make it into some cards for my shop as I really loved making the Paul with the floral roses. So I thought why not add a few varieties of different cards to my shop so I uh, I know a few people that have bought the stickers really enjoyed the design so I thought if there was a card that might be quite a fun card to give to someone for like their birthday or any other kind of occasion um, and I just printed it out on some speciality paper and I'm just trimming it down on our cutting machine uh, or should I say guillotine <laughs> um, it is quite old and hopefully I will be getting a new one in the near future. But uh, it's still quite useful. I've had it quite a few years now. It's probably coming up to 10, 12 years. It's actually my mum's. Uh, and both me and my sister have used it for a long time for like school work, university work, college work, all of the things. Um, but yeah, the colours came out really well, which I'm happy with. Um, all the colours on the paper usually work really well, even with the printer that I have. Um, and then it's kind of, I was deciding which card backing that I wanted it to go on with, but I ended up having a few different colours, which you'll see. Um, and it was just a nice, relaxed, chilled out session where I'm just making some cards. So hopefully if you have anything else you want to do, or you want to go grab another cup of tea, then you could utilise this time now. <laughs>
So my desk has recently become a dumping ground of all my stuff um, that I had accumulated around the studio that kind of just threw onto the desk to make some more space. So I finally decided I was going to go tidy it um, and just being able to organise the creative space and starting with a nice fresh desk is always a nice feeling. Um, and just making sure, as you can see, I do like me and Cool Cookie Creatures have accumulated a lot of craft stuff and it can get out of hand very quickly, especially when I'm in a creative mood and like I just kind of leave everything or like throw everything to the side without any regard of whether it's going to get in my way in the future, uh, which surprise, surprise, it does. Um, but yeah, I think having a, when you're kind of in between doing art and having that little cool off time where you're just kind of cleaning up your desk ready for whenever you're wanting to go back onto it and work straight away instead of having to move everything aside. Uh, it was due a clean as well. We got little like dusty patches from just where it's just been sat for a while. Um, and on days like it has been today, um, it's just been so rainy that you're kind of stuck inside anyway. So finding anything to do is always a plus. Or you could just skip that and go sit down on a nice comfy seat with a book and drink some tea, which is wish I, which is if I can talk, uh, which is what I kind of wish I did. But I think I was fairly productive, if, even without making any artwork in this. And I think hopefully in the next vlog, I will have some more designs for merch for my shop. Uh, but if not, because I am kind of a little bit more creative in my current paid job at the moment and it's taking a little bit more of my time up, but not too much. And I'll have a few more days off next week. So there'll be a bit more riveting content than me tidying my desk. Uh, but strangely enough, I actually, when I do put YouTube on, I actually love watching just kind of the really chilled out creative vlogs of other people where they're just kind of either cleaning up their studio, doing a little studio tour, or just like everyday mundane things. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really love it if you give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.